All right. We got two words for America today: crack pipes. <clears throat> crack pipes, not crack pots. Did any of us ever think? sitting in our senior year in high school at our government class, that we'd be part of a nation where its government gives crack pipes out as, as a tool to, in just a permissive society. I don't think any of us would have ever thought that our socialistic government would do something like that. As I finished up some town halls this past weekend, 15 town halls, I can tell you I've never seen Americans so upset. I've never seen so much fervor. I thought Joe Biden had bottomed out at the end of last year, but I'm telling you, he's still searching for the bottom of his popularity right now. As I listen to my folks at these town halls, I want you to, to listen to what they're telling me. This is what Americans see. Americans see 2 million people, maybe 6 million people, cross their border illegally last year. And they see this administration reward them with an all expenses paid vacation trip to any American city of their choosing. America sees riots and vandalism, and this administration applauds them. America sees sh looting and shoplifting, and this administration says don't prosecute. This America saw over five tons of fentanyl cross our border last year. Just imagine five big semi-trucks loaded with a ton of fentanyl. And I remind people, one teaspoon of that fentanyl could kill thousands of people. And like my dad, the police officer said, crime and drug abuse go hand in hand. It's like peanut butter and jelly. The more drug crimes you have, the more crime we're gonna have as well. And then finally, America sees our law enforcement officers being told to turn their back on violent crimes and not pursue. America sees the White House and their par party turn their back on their law enforcement officers. America sees weak-kneed judges and attorneys, prosecuting attorneys. And then, back to our crack pipes. What they're seeing, what Americans are seeing is insane policy, it's demented policy. It's unthinkable, it's unconscionable. Our president could change all of this if he had the will. Johnson. 